Stephen Hilliard Stern also gives us a snow globe of the late 1980s. What a dire situation. If you want to go back there, here it is, your time tunnel. If you want to know what it was like, here it is. Have fun, yuppie larvae. Stephen Hilliard Stern. I will now name his top five films, because I may as well now. My opinion of the five finest works of Stephen Hilliard Stern's filmography. Number five, Draw. Due to its starring Kirk Douglas and James Coburn, the last bastion of the old Hollywood Western as a HBO telefilm, What an Awkward Expedition. Number four, Weekend Warrior. Yes, this one. I prefer it to those early to mid-70s time capsule snow globes because Weekend Warrior is dramatic propaganda, not a naughty comedy. Propaganda films age better than dated comedies, especially as comedy, obviously. Number three, The Ambush Murders, for being socially conscious and sometimes resembling a couple of Frank Perry's admirable, politically convicted TV films, plus decently directed true crime set pieces, crime scene recreations, when it has to. Number two, A Small Killing for Ed Asner and Gene Simmons, Spartacus Gene Simmons, Charisma. Hmm. Number one, This Park is Mine, for good Vietnam vet social criticism, a Tangerine Dream score, a very good one even, and a charismatic turn from Tommy Lee Jones as a vengeful yet understandable rogue gunman in the large park. That's Stephen Hilliard Stern, and that's the last we'll be discussing his work here, yes.